welcome back guys it's time to jump back into another breakdown slash reaction video I put a poll out on my Twitter account yesterday to see what type of video you guys wanted to see and you know I, I like to please the people so what I've done is I've gone with what the poll said and I've gone for a 2021 rookie running back and as you can see it's Jamar Jefferson the running back out of Oregon State so Jamar Jefferson running back Oregon State in the Pac-12 he's listed at 5 foot 10 214 pounds I uh, will be interested to see what size uh, he does measure in at on his pro days uh, 5'10", 214 is a very good size perfect size for a running back um, if that drops down to about 5'9", it'll be, give me a little bit of concern, but not so much because there are some half-decent 5'9 running backs. It's when it goes any below that that I really start to worry. £214 is perfect. If he comes in around 2'10", I'm not going to complain. Um, he was a three-star recruit, according to 24-7 Sports. Most of his offers were from Pac-12 or Mountain West Conference. He did have one from Rutgers uh, in the Big Ten, but he ultimately decided to go to Oregon State. In his freshman year, he was a lead back, which is perfect that's what you want to see freshman running back coming in taking over the workload so he had 239 carries 1380 yards 12 touchdowns for a yards per carry of 5.8 slight concern now in his sophomore season um, his workload dropped and he had an even split with Artavis Pierce uh, and Artavis Pierce was actually more of the efficient back out of the two now this is concerning to me because he lost that workload after his freshman year and Artavis Pierce came out in the 2020 NFL draft and he was an undrafted free agent. I think he's currently on the Bears. Um, so anyway, moving on from that, in 2020 this year, he played six games uh, for 133 attempts, 858 yards and seven touchdowns with a yards per carry of 6.5. So he did get back up some good efficiency numbers there. But again, that, that sophomore year in 2019 is a bit of a concern to me. Losing out the bulk of the work and splitting it with a guy who was an, who was an undrafted free agent isn't particularly a good look. However, he was young. Um, he's only actually going to be 21 years old a couple of weeks before the NFL draft. So I'm not going to read into it too much. Um, obviously, draft capital is going to matter massively for Jamar Jefferson. So we'll see how that looks. Right, let's jump into some film then so we can see how this guy looks. The cut-up I'm using was done by Debbie Deep Dive, Brandon Lejeune. You can find this guy on Twitter as well. Um, as with all the guys who do game game film cut-ups, I appreciate it massively. It allows anyone to go onto YouTube or wherever the cut-ups are stored and be able to watch film on, on any guys. So, we, again, we appreciate that. Right, first run, there we go. Oh, nice cut back to the inside. Oh, he's away, he's gone. Got, made himself really skinny in the hole, in the hole there. He's going to go all the way. Yeah, no one's catching him there. There was a guy catching him at the end. I'm just going to go back on that. There was a guy catching him at the end. Uh, one thing I just want to point out here is, if you look at this, it actually looks like his first read there was to go to, more towards the sideline side uh, in the gap between the bottom two defenders here. But I think he actually shows good vision. Realises that one of the guys, one of the defenders is basically uh, you know, un unmatched and he's going to, he's going to have him if he goes in there. So he slots it back inside, and actually the way he makes himself small um, in the middle of all his linemen is quite impressive. Doesn't get brought down straight to the outside, and these guys aren't catching him. So there is a guy catching him up at the end, so I'm not entirely sure what his full speed is like there, but still, nice run that. Some goal line work now up the middle. No, he cuts it to the outside. Nice vision again. He isn't going to get away from these guys, though. There's too many of them around him, and he doesn't have that breakaway speed there to to make it past him but again nice vision finding the hole straight through it and off again straight up the middle uh, and he's met at the line of scrimmage straight away I actually I, I do think there was a it might be a bit harsh this but there was probably a split second there where he could have bounced that outside and you can see the defenders already penetrating the line um, right about there you can see the defender that gets him eventually number eight, uh, 88 of Oregon State has got a hold of him um, if he sees that, he could potentially bounce it outside to the left. Um, you'll see when a player carries on that, number 23 at the bottom sets the edge well for Oregon. So he can't go that way. So it's, I'm maybe nitpicking a bit there. Let's have a look. Straight up the middle again. Actually, again there, I think he could have bounced that outside as well if he, if he sees that play a bit. If he sees that a bit quicker, same as the previous play, it potentially could have bounced it outside and got a bit more yardage. Let's just go back. 47 has got the edge there for Oregon, so he can't go that side, but he could potentially bounce this out to the left-hand side. Right about there. You can see the... He's either going to go straight up the middle 
and with the amount of defenders out there, he's going to get brought down, or he could bounce it outside. If he bounces that to the outside, he could, he could be talking 20, 30 yard gain. As it is, he gets about six yards. Gets a quarterback toss, finds a hole on the inside. Ah, okay. So it doesn't actually look that that fast. To be fair, it's not like he's bursting through the hole. However, there is one good thing about this play that I do like, and that's that the first guy to contact him doesn't bring him down. Uh, that's a big thing for me, because if these guys are bringing them down, the guys in the NFL are 100% going to bring them down first, <laughs> just about every, every time. Number five there, look, gets just about got hold of him, but it doesn't bring him down. It's the guy after that gets him down. So uh, even though that play wasn't that you know exciting, um, there was a positive to take from that. Gets a handoff. Bounced it to the outside. Oh, he gets caught from behind. Tries to cut back inside again to get to the first down. To the right hand side this time. Cuts back inside again. He's, he's quite slippery in between all the linemen. I do like that about him. He can he can get away from these defenders, bringing him down straight away. He just seems to make himself really small and slippery. Gets the hand off again. Straight in the middle. Oh, what's he doing there? I, I, this time I don't think I am being harsh. Um, he needs to bounce that out to the left hand side. If he sees that. Um, and to be fair, I think he had plenty of time to see that. Let's just just go back. Look at all that space up there. I mean, to be fair, one of the defenders will co probably come off um, from from that block and 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 maybe meet him. But then at least he's got a one on one shot in the open field to to beat a man to make a play. But instead, he just piles it straight into the middle. I mean. Does it, it, it might just about get the first down, it might just be a bit short, but I think if he bounces that to the outside, it, it, it's getting the first down, and, and that's what you want. Yeah, near the goal line. Nice. It shows some good footwork on this play. Um, it doesn't get initially brought down by the first man that meets him. Just want to watch this again. So he steps back into the inside and then back to that nice footwork. So he's kind of stepping into the inside and then back to the outside. The number five defender on the floor there probably should bring him down. He doesn't. And then in the end, there's just too many players there. But but he gets about about five yards on that play. So um, nice footwork. Got oh, a big gap through the middle. Um, it does get brought down by the first guy that hits him there, but it was head on. Bounces that one to the outside, back through the middle. See, again, back to this one, he's showing good vision again. There's some players like this one where he's showing really good vision. You know, exactly where the holes are that he needs to hit to get the most out of the place, be most efficient. And then you go back to some of the other players that we've seen, where you think he probably could have bounced it outside, he probably should have bounced it outside. But I think we do have to give him a bit of leeway. He's a young running back, he's currently 20 years old in, these, in this game. Um, he's still learning and he's going to learn and he's showing that he can have good vision. Let's see, okay, so this one he does bounce to the outside. And I think that was a smart decision, so again showing good vision. However, there's something that I'm starting to notice with Jamar Jefferson, which I haven't highlighted yet. I'm just going to watch the end of this play again. When he's met by defenders, um, he doesn't really push the pile. So I'm starting to get a bit of a better picture now of what Jamar Jefferson is all about. What he is about is quick feet, getting small and skinny in the hole, making guys miss um, by being slippery. Um, he's got good speed. I, I haven't seen any elite breakaway speed from him yet, but because he's not pushing any piles, I haven't seen him push one pile yet. I am starting to question um, his listed size of 5'10", 214. At that size, and if he's playing aggressive, he should be able to move the pile, but he's not really doing that. Straight up the middle. Uh, see, an, another great example there. Doesn't push the pile whatsoever. He, he gets pushed back. Throws the outside. Gets the reception. You'd probably like to see him stay on his feet, but the ball was thrown a bit low. Up the middle. Uh, he leans forward a little bit there. There was a guy in front of him as well, helping him push though, so... Nice, nice footwork to get into the end zone. So there's not actually currently a lot of game film out there on Jamar Jefferson at the moment. I have watched more than just this Oregon clip and the reason I decided to watch this one and use this one for this video is because everything that you need to see, you can see from just this clip. There's no need to go watching any of the other ones for me anyway. Um, so we're starting to see what Jamar Jefferson is like and in my opinion, um, he's got quick feet, he can get small and skinny in the hole, he's got good speed. I haven't seen elite speed, um, we'll have to see what he tests that on the, in the Forza on his Pro Day. Um, I also really want to see what his height and weight measurements are on his Pro Day because I'm not entirely convinced that he is 5'10", uh, 2'14". 
Um, and if he is, then I would be slightly concerned that one of his weaknesses is that it doesn't push the pile. And I will say it's a weakness because you want to see guys fall forward. You want to see guys be aggressive, lean into defenders, try and push that pile forward. Even if it's just one guy, um, you don't see that from Jamal Jefferson. Um, you do see some good cuts to the inside and to the outside when he uses that good vision. He has got good vision. Um, so there's some players where he just doesn't see it quick enough, but he is young and he is learning. So for my final thoughts, um, I actually think there's a lot of similarities in his game to Javonte Williams. I actually think he's basically Javonte Williams light, um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It depends, obviously, what team he goes, what situation. Draft capital is going to matter for him massively, um, and I do think he'll need a good O line to to be efficient, um, as most running backs do. To be fair, there's there's very very few running backs that can be efficient with a bad O line. So that's it for this video, guys. You can leave me a comment below the video so I can see what you thought of the video or of Jamar Jefferson in particular. Um, more than happy to take constructive constructive criticism. Um, see what you thought that I saw that was wrong or different to what you thought. I'm more than happy to have discussions like that. It's what makes us all learn. It makes us all better. Um, you can also hit me up on Twitter at Dynasty Commission one if you want to give me a suggestion on who I can do next in videos, anyone you like to see in particular. Um, I'm happy to do any position, any year. And if you did like the video, just give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. I'll be starting to put out a lot more of these um, now the actual NFL season has finished. So see you next time, guys.